Hi, welcome. Thank you for being here. Um, I am here today to do a flip through of this journal that I made with a kit from Shabby Dabby Duda. And I will link her YouTube and her Etsy shop below. This kit is just beautiful and you get so many items in the kit. You get a PDF file with what Tina calls background pages, which are the full pages, full size pages. Um, and then you get a bunch of pages with pockets and envelopes and tags and uh, interesting sketches and interesting photographs, old, old photographs, which I'll show you. And it was very, very easy to use. Now, I will say that um, there were a lot of firsts for me in this kit. Um, the biggest one being I've never made a journal with a kit before. I've only been making journals for a few months. Um, I've only made maybe a half a dozen journals altogether. Um, and because I love doing it, I want to learn different ways of making them. My first journals were made sort of like traveler's notebooks in the Midori style. And if you don't know what that is, it means they have elastic in the middle. And instead of sewing the signatures in, the signatures are removable. And I really like that idea. Um, it's sort of my thing to think that you can take the signatures out and replace them and keep the book cover. And for those, I have sewn my book covers in the past. Um, I, I do a very neat job of it. The seams are all on the inside. Some of them have pockets. You can see those in other videos of mine. Um, however, this one was my first time using a kit. It was also my first time using a file folder as the cover. It was also my first time sewing signatures to the cover. So, uh, yeah, it was, it was an interesting and fun challenge to have. Um, so this is my cover on a file folder, as I said. Uh, the outside is fabric. This is printed from the kit. And I, I printed two of the pages onto muslin. Um, I will do a video on how I did that and how I made the file folder cover and um, the lessons I learned. Because <laughs> I did learn some lessons. Um, but this almost feels like flannel. It's very soft. And I really, really like the sturdiness of the file folder cover. Um, I have a twill ribbon. Uh, I, I believe this is cotton. And I really like this and I need to find some more of it. But uh, for now, I love the way it closes this journal. I also used some ribbon flowers, fabric flowers, and I did the top and the bottom, and I really like the way it blends in with this kit because, I mean, come on, beautiful roses, right? I love the blue and the pink in this kit. Uh, this has a charm on it, plastic beads on the end of the tie, and a little coilless pin on this end, and a little charm that says, made with love, because I try to put a lot of love into everything I make. There's some beads and charms on the signature ties that are here, and let's go inside and look. So... I'm going to talk through this flip through because I did use the kit and Tina from Shabby Dabby Duda is doing a design team call out. She's looking for design team members and I haven't gotten on any design teams yet. So um, the inside of this is, is printed from the kit and it's on paper. And so I ironed the fabric onto the file folder and I also um, I glued the paper down on the inside. This is three signatures in this kit. One, two, three. Oops, there's a third one. There's a third one. I used heavy um, watercolor paper for the covers 
And what I did was I printed out a sheet, a different sheet for each cover, and I cut the sheet in half, and half of it's on the back of the cover, half of it's on the front. Um, there are pockets galore and journaling cards galore. There are butterflies to cut out and beautiful flowers to fussy cut. And I used it all and I printed extras because I was having so much fun with this. Um, I backed this card, this journaling, this journal belongs to card on some cardstock. Sorry about the dog. She's barking at squirrels. Gabby, lay down. Um, and I put a little bit of bling on the butterfly. Gabby and Evan have to say hello in almost every video I have. This is a pocket from the kit. I printed one of the pages of the kit on tracing paper. There's a lot of pages in each of these kits. I have not counted them yet, but it's a pretty substantial um, journal. These are, I love, I just, I don't know why I love this image so much. I just love these black and white images. And I printed this on cream cardstock, so it came out almost sepia toned. Um, and then some of these are just on white copy paper. And this was a circle, but there wasn't much at the top, so I folded the circle under to give it some strength here and glued it around the sides here and made a cool pocket out of it. Tracing paper, notebook paper, this one opens up, tea dyed paper. This is a little corner doily, and there's one of these in each signature. I folded it in half, glued the edges well, glued the whole inside together, and then folded it in half again and just glued around the edges here and then glued it on the um, two sides. And these, this is a ticket shape that you can journal on. And this is another one of those cool images. So this just makes a really kind of cool corner tuck spot. And if you glue the, the two edges together, it gives it a little more strength so it doesn't tear so easy. This is one of the full size sheets. Tina has background sheets and they are full size. And then she has all, uh, uh, tons, I can't even tell you how many pages, I think 11. I think there's 11 pages of sheets with stuff like this on it and tags that come in the kit and all kinds of things. It's amazing, this kit is so huge. You just, you have so many ideas and so much fun with it. Um, this is a napkin I decoupaged onto a book page and then I um, gessoed some of the page and then I put notebook paper on it. And there's notebook paper on the back as well. And then some more. This is another one of her pages from the kit. And there's a doily and a 5x7 card in here. This is one of the images of flowers that matches the kit, and I fussy cut around it. And this is one of the large ticket shapes that comes in the kit, and one of the journaling cards. There's just so much very cool stuff in here. I love the images. The images are just, I just think the images are the best part of this whole kit. I just love it. Of course, I like the flowers, too. Uh, there's also a ton of butterflies in this kit. So I use those on several pages. Um, I just glued this in with a little piece of muslin. And I have some lace on the edge of the page. This is a sketch pad paper that I tea stained. And then I just tore down the edge. I just think it, it's fun to have different size papers and textures. Another one of the images that comes in the kit. Another one of the pages. Um, this is a magazine pocket I made. And Tina has a really cool envelope in there. I did a little extra stamping on it. Um, and then she also has many of these little sheets here that look like old letters. And I just had fun with those. And so I thought it was a good place to hide the envelope. And you could do some secret journaling in there. And I just love this magazine page because of the pink roses on it. I thought it fit in really well. This is a glassine bag with one of the butterflies. And what I did was on 
two sheets of cardstock. I printed out this page here and I made tags that would fit in my glassine bags. Now my glassine bags are tall and thin and now I have to find it again. <laughs> it's in here somewhere. It's past here. There it is. So I glued uh, one of the butterflies onto it and my tags I cut so that they'd fit specifically one inside the bag and one behind the bag and I glued the bag down on three sides so it makes a, a pocket for the extra tag and I did a lot of stenciling in this also and here's the other side of the tracing paper that I printed on I also made these tags and what I did was when I made the tags out of file folders I did not cut the fold um, and I stamped used a rubber stamp and then I printed another sheet out on tracing paper and I glued that down to the tag. So you have a great little spot there. This is an altered envelope with a see-through pocket in it. It was a really large one and I had to cut the envelope, had to cut the other half of the envelope off because it was so huge. And so this tag fits, again I glued around three sides, so this fits behind the envelope and then in the envelope there's a little secret letter. So there's another one of those letter sheets and that fits and you could put other things in this envelope and nobody would know they're there because this image is glued to the front um, to show through the the window. So that's the end of that first signature. This is the beginning of the second signature. I printed out, I mean I stamped a butterfly from a stamp pad I have and I did it on tracing paper and I put it on this um, this cover because I thought it needed a little something extra um, and here's another one of those tags and one of the pockets that comes in the kit this is another one of those letter pieces of paper and that's the size it comes when you cut it out I printed this on tea stained paper which was pretty tricky my printer made some rather strange noises <laughs> so I'm not sure how much I'll do that again I sewed it down with some lace and you can flip it over and you can see the lace on the back of the tracing paper that I sewed it to um, some of my paper flowers with um, well they're store-bought they're not mine they're mine because I bought them I didn't make them with a little flat back pearl because gotta have a little bling here and there this is one of the tags that comes in the kit and one of the journaling cards. I print a lot of things on the cream colored cardstock and I really like how the images come out a little muted. Um, whereas if you print it on white copy paper or white cardstock, the images come out a little brighter. This is one of the butterflies from the kit and I put a little blingy bling in the middle of that. Um, this is another corner tuck spot with another one of those very cool images and another ticket. And those just fit right in the corner, just all kind of neat. And this is another one of the images. I really like these images because it's definitely sketched. It's, you know, hand sketched and I just think it's very cool. These images are and the colors and the roses they all drew me to wanting to use this kit um, another pocket from the kit um, another flower with a little blingy bling in the middle this is a book page with napkin that is decoupaged on and gessoed on this side so you literally could write right across this page if you wanted to this paper that I rough tore is um, a sketchbook paper that I tea dyed it's got an interesting texture and you could sketch on it you could draw on it you could I don't know if you could paint on it it might warp it a little bit it's thin um, and then two more tags this is from the kit this is one I made that I stamped and these little pieces here they come this size you cut them out and you can use them if you put them on cardstock or you want to glue the paper to cardstock. They make great journaling cards. They make great extra pockets. 
They'd be great for collage. This is another um, sheet that I did. And I also printed this on my tea stained uh, copy paper, which again, my printer wasn't fond of. Um, I have a doily and a five by seven card in each signature. This is the center of the signature with the beads that I have on it that are tangling. And this one has a little star on it. This flower is one of the fussy cuts from the, from the kit. Another beautiful page from the kit. These images, I mean, they're just gorgeous. And two more journaling cards with another pocket from the kit. And I have lots of pockets and tags and tickets and journaling spots in here. When I make a journal, I really like to have it be useful for whatever you want to use it for. Um, there are some of these little images that I tore around, and I just love them just on a page, just standing in a corner by themselves. Another one of Tina's butterflies. My, my journals have tons of space for you to do what you want in the journal. Um, the other half of that book page. Uh, another altered envelope with a window that I put one of the images in and I just glued it around the edge on the inside. And another tag that I made with images and the fussy cut flower. And this goes behind the envelope in this little letter that looks like it's on graph paper. Looks like an old letter. This goes in the pocket. So it looks like an old letter sticking out of the pocket. And I just altered the envelope by using various, um, this is one of the tags from the kit. Um, some of this is background paper that I tore off of other sheets. Um, this is tissue paper and a few rubber stamps. Another beautiful part of the page from the kit. And this is from a magazine I tore out and a, another journaling card with great images on it. And another glassine bag with the same kind of tags. Again, printed out on cardstock. And I just took one sheet of cardstock. I took two sheets of cardstock. One I cut these taller images, uh, tags out of, and one I cut the shorter ones out of. And the shorter one fits inside the glassine bag, and the taller one fits behind it. And it's a real easy way to use one of these kits to make tags, because the tags are just gorgeous. You don't have to worry about collaging them and everything. Another piece of tracing paper. Another pocket with some great journaling cards inside. And that's the end of that signature. And this is signature three. This is one of the butterflies that comes in the kit, and I put it on this page. And another pocket from the kit with another tag that I made. And more tracing paper that I printed on. More of the cutouts. Some lace. Another fussy cut flower and another corner tuck with some more cool images. Again, how cool is that? Pretty cool. I just love these. I, I just, <laughs> I can see making many more of these, but changing it up a little bit here and there. Um, again, I tore around this image. It's a an oval, and I just glued it down here. Another one of the great old black and white photographs. Um, this is another part of the altered envelope, and it has a little journaling card inside. And I just attached this envelope by sewing it to a tea bag, and then I sewed the tea bag to the page. These are some of the tickets that come. So I made a sort of a sort of a belly band style here with a little eyelet and some beads. And these are some more of the tickets that come in the kit. And I just have these tucked right over the edge of that. 
that ticket there. And this is another one of the printed pages. I printed front and back. Two more of the full-size images. The center of the signature. And um, another fussy cut flower. And another, the back side of that page with the images. Another pocket. I only have trouble getting stuff in and out when I'm videotaping, of course. And another tag from the kit. Another oval from the kit. And this is another one of the, the very cool tickets that she has. This is another image that I tore around of the sketched building, and that's a butterfly I punched out and put on cheese puff. And this is another magazine pocket. So I have one of the sheets here. It looks like an old letter. So I have that carefully tucked into the pocket. Pocket, And this is one of the banners from the kit and another one of the images. And there's still room to to journal on this tag. And another glassine bag. Each signature has one of these glassine bags, these two tags, and an and a image from the kit on it. And this little page here is from the kit as well. And I took one of the flowers that I fussy cut and I just glued the top half of the flower to the page and the bottom half of the flower to this little page. So you can flip it up and write underneath it or put photographs and you could write on top. And tracing paper and the last page with another one of the very cool images. So that is the journal. Um, I hope you enjoyed this flip through and I will be doing a video um, on how I made the cover and the things I learned, but that's for another video. <laughs> um, I have to gather the bits and pieces for that, but I hope you enjoyed this flip through. Um, whether I make it onto the design team or not, I appreciate Tina putting the call out there and giving me the opportunity to work with a kit for the very first time. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Um, I will link Tina's Etsy shop, her YouTube channel, and my Etsy shop below. And I appreciate you watching. Thank you ever so much. Um, please subscribe if you haven't. Leave comments. It means a lot to me when you leave a comment. And take care. Bye-bye. Happy crafting.